sortir avec le disque. When the Drummondville Voltigeurs were on the ice in 2016, the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League says it had no idea what allegedly happened off the ice. A woman who was 15 at the time says she was sexually assaulted by three males in 2016 in Drummondville, Quebec. Two of them played for the local team. Only one of the three was an adult at the time, Noah Corson, who now plays professionally in the U.S. According to court documents obtained by Radio-Canada, the two minors have already pleaded guilty to sexual assault. Corson is set to appear in court in June, but has denied the allegations. The two players involved were no longer with the league by the time the victim filed a complaint with police. The league, though, has had to deal with other cases of alleged group sexual assault in recent years. We need to educate the players not only at the beginning of the season, but throughout the season. C'est ton ego qui te pète dans la face. That's what Catherine Laroche has been doing. She says she was sexually assaulted by a Quebec juniors player in 2015, but decided not to move forward with charges. Now she gives workshops to hockey players. We need organizations that have the well-being of their players before their reputation and their image. The Quebec Juniors League says it's put an action plan in place that includes workshops on consent. We really have to uh, sensitize uh, the young men to those questions, to rape culture, to violence, uh, to the impact of sexual violence to the impact of sexual violence on victims. The woman behind these new allegations says she was left fearful of social interactions, has had suicidal thoughts, and says she's still struggling. Sarah Levitt, CBC News, Montreal.